And finally, please donate to our classes. Am I, wait, are you connected yet? Wait, no. Am I tripping? Oh, no. So we're back. All right, cool. So I was just rapping. All right, bet. So let's get started. I'm not going to waste your time no more. Come to standing up on your mats. What's good, y'all? We'll have palms together at the center of the chest and big toes touching, right? So finding your space on your mat is going to be very crucial. I like to start by balancing out my hands and my feet, big toes together, heels slightly apart, and then we'll bring palms together at the center of the chest. This helps me find my breath, helps me balance my breath, right? Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and a full breath out of the nose. Deep breath into your nose. Exhale out of your nose. Looking for your center or that central space that you can kind of operate from. Breath in. When your back or your front or your bottom or your top gets a little out of whack. Breath out. Last two breaths like this. Setting an intention for your practice. Breath in. Breath out. Uh, the last breath, very full, nice, deep breath. Breath in and out. Keep this center. We'll move with pace, right? So we're going to be moving, right? Try and keep this breath at the center of your focus. Inhale, arms reach up towards the ceiling. Look up. As you exhale, fold forward. Let your fingers come down to your toes. As you inhale, lift the head up and look forward. Straighten through your back, straighten through your legs. As you exhale, step your right foot behind you and step your left, coming all the way down to your stomach and chest. Right, everything down, elbows in. Put your toes back, inhale, lift your chest up, breathe in. Filling up the lowest part of the lungs possible, and then exhale, tuck the chin around through your back. Five breaths in our downward facing dog. We'll be here for one. Two, three, Move how you like in your downward dog. Three. Maybe bend the knees or shift to your left or right. Four. And five. Look forward. Step or hop between your hands. Breathe in. Lift your head up. Breathe out. Fold over your legs. Forehead comes down towards your knees. Inhale. Reach your arms towards the ceiling. Look up. And then exhale. Hands down the center of your chest. Good. Two more like this. Inhale. Reach up. Look up. Exhale. Fold over your legs. Breathe out. Lift the head up, breathe in, inhale. Step back, half push up, exhale. Upward facing dog, lift up, breathe in, inhale. And curl the toes under, downward facing dog, breathe out, exhale. So we're moving at pace, right? We're moving a little faster than our beginner's classes normally go. Try and use these still moments to find your breath, meaning don't try to over push your hands or feet. Take three more breaths. Try and ease. Let the body open naturally or, or instinctively on its own. Try not to add any more to this than you need to. Last breath in. And you can step or hop your feet forward. Fold over your legs. Breathe out. Inhale, arms. Reach up. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands down the center of the chest. Good. Last one like this. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Breathe out. Inhale, lift the head up, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back, half push up, breath comes out. Upward facing dog, breathe in, lift up. Downward facing dog, breathe out, push back. We're here for one. Two. Three, to the top of your mat. Fold over your legs, breathe out, hop back, come down to your chest. Inhale, come up, breathe in. Trying to feel that sweat a little bit. Exhale, push back. So is the ceiling, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs, step back, half push up, breath comes out. Inhale, upward facing dog, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, push back, breathe out. Your left foot will step forward, right heel drops down. As you stand up into your warrior one, take a deep breath, nice reach up. Exhale, fold over your legs, step back, half push up, breath comes out. Inhale, upward facing dog, breathe in. Exhale, curl your toes under, find downward dog. Right, we're here for five. Don't overthink these poses. You're in down dog for four. Trying to catch the breath, let it slow down. Three. 
two, and one. Step or hop forward, breathe in. Exhale, fold over your legs, breathe out. Bend your knees into your chair pose, both feet and legs together, reach your arms up, look up. And then we exhale, come to standing. Good, bend your knees, reach your arms, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs, breathe out. Inhale, lift your head up and look forward. Exhale, step or hop the feet back, have push up, breath is out. Inhale, upward facing dog, breathe in. And exhale, downward facing dog, breathe out. Drop your left heel down, step the right foot forward, long step. Inhale, stand up, reach your arms towards the ceiling, look up. Breathe in, and then exhale, relax. So as you breathe out, let the body relax. Try not to squeeze the muscle. As you breathe in, add energy, get long, push the bones, and exhale, push back. Right foot drops down, left, heel, left foot steps forward. Hips sink into place and you stand right up, boom. Inhale. As you exhale, step back, fold over your leg, breathe out. Inhale. Upward facing dog, chest lifts up. And exhale, downward facing dog, chest is out, chest is back. Excuse me, we're here for one. That's a breath each time I count, two. Step or hop to the top, breathe in. Breathe out, fold. We're moving with pace so you don't think too much. Bend your knees, reach your arms towards the ceiling, look up, and then we'll come to standing. Last one like this. I know it's tough, but you're getting warm so we can relax in our poses, right? Bend the knees, reach your arms up, look up, chair pose. Exhale, fold over your legs, breathe out. Inhale, lift the head up and look forward, back and legs are straight. Exhale, step or hop back, keeping the back and legs straight, right? Inhale, upward facing dog, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe out. Step the right foot forward, drop your left heel down. Inhale, stand up, reach your arms towards the ceiling, look up. Exhale, vinyasa, that means move. Follow your breath, breathe out. Come all the way down, breathe in. Lift up, warrior one, breathe out, downward dog. Step the left foot forward, drop your right heel down. Inhale, come to standing all the way up, reach arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands down, step back, vinyasa, half push up, breath is out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now catch your breath, five breaths, the pace stays the same. No matter your experience level, unless you're taking a different class, you need to give yourself room to catch up. So use your breath, three breaths. One, slow it down and out. Good, two, you're starting to get at odds with the body a little bit, but finding balance requires, to letting, requires letting it take over. Take one more breath. So you're not fighting it, you're getting more relaxed. Look forward, step right out forward. Breathe in, lift the head up. Fold over your legs, breathe out. Both feet come together, bend your knees, reach your arms up, look up. And we'll come to standing, palms together at the center of the chest. Very good. Now the sequence we're about to do is one that does not change. So try and memorize it as best as you can. Always feel like you can come back to it, because you can. And I'm actually gonna turn away from you because it always goes right leg back and that'll put me facing away from you. Right, so we're gonna stand on our mat and step the right leg back so we have both toes pointing forward and all arms out. We're headed towards our triangle pose, all arms out, both arms spread wide. Turn your right toes to the back of your mat, what was, the, what was the front, what is now the front of my mat. Reach your right arm forward, right hand will come down, left arm reaches towards the ceiling for triangle pose. We're looking at the thumb for five breaths. One. Two, big breath through your lungs, three, eyes on your left thumb, a four, lean left shoulder back, last breath, good, keep the arms straight, let's stand up, midsection kind of is doing all the work, arms stay straight, point your left toes towards what's now you, what is the front of your mat, left hand comes down, right arm reaches towards the ceiling, eyes are on your right thumb, you're just taking five breaths, looking at the thumb for one, 
to keep the shape, but explore. Can the fingers go further? Three. Can I lift the inside of my leg a little higher away from the ground? Four. Last breath. Five. Let's stand all the way up. Good. We're going to turn towards what's the back of your mat, towards your right foot. Arms will stay wide like this. And I'm going to have you scoot your right foot to the right edge of your mat, your left foot to the left, so your hips will have some room to move. Let's bring the right hand to our right hip. Let's bring the left arm up, straight up. And we're going to take what's called revolve triangle. So I'm going to reach, and I'll turn so you can see. Both my hips are square. I'm going to reach forward. And let my hand come down, either inside of my foot, maybe to my ankle, maybe outside of my foot. Wherever it lands will be based on my legs. And then I'll reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, twisting and revolve triangle. We're here for one. Two, strong back leg will keep you up. Three, four, five. Good, only five breaths. Come back up, back into it, I mean out of it the same way we went in, arms wide, and we'll turn towards the back of our mat. Right, so that's left foot forward, right heel back. You're gonna twist across, right hand outside of your left ankle or your left foot, inhale up. So you're facing back, excuse me, towards the front of the mat, right towards the front. You're here for two, eyes on the thumb, three, don't waste time reaching in this pose. If you're like, oh my God, it's because it's a tough pose. Find your hand up your shin, take one more breath. Good, inhale, we'll come all the way up. I'll come back to my original spot. And then we'll come back to standing at the top of the mat. Palms together at the center of the chest. Take a nice breath here, breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now step your right foot back, arms wide. We'll turn the right toes towards the back of your mat. I'm again facing this way for the camera. Right toes turn back, bend into your right knee. Look over your right middle fingers. Good, now let's bend our elbow. Bring the elbow to your knee. So you're kind of in this like resting position with the hips sinking in line with the knee a little bit. Not resting, but you know, elbows down. And we'll reach the left hand forward, trying to make a straight line. So notice how my arm isn't like this hanging. I'm straight through my ribs. My knee is bent and I'm looking to the ceiling for two. Three. Four. And five. Arms reaches up. It helps you lift up. I'll stand up. Arms stay wide. Turn the right toes in. Turn the left toes towards the top of the mat. Bend into your left knee. Bring your left elbow to your knee. And reach the right arm forward. We're looking towards the ceiling for one. Two. A three, four, and five. Arm reaches up, it helps us up. Turn the toes in. Good. And let's come back towards the back of the mat so you're bending to your right knee. Come down onto your left. You're facing away from me, maybe, right? Palms together at the center of your chest. Let's twist. So we're going to twist left elbow outside of the right knee. I'm twisting towards my right. Elbow comes outside of the knee, stack the elbow, and lift your chest to your thumbs. Nice twist. We're here for one. Two. Twist in from the navel. Three. Lift the ribs and shoulders away from the ground. Keep the elbow connected. Four. And five. It will come out of this. Arms wide. Turn the standing up. And we're going to the back of the mat, or to the front of the mat for this video. Right knee is down. Palms together at the center of your chest. I'm going to twist right elbow outside of the left knee and lift the chest to find the thumbs. Big twist across the navel. We're here for one, two, three, four, and our revolve side angle. Last breath. Good, you're gonna come out of it the same way you came in, arm twist, arm straight, legs wide, and we'll come back to the top of the mat from standing. Palms together at the center of the chest. Let's take a deep breath here, breath in. 
breath out. Good, step your right leg back. Arms go wide again. Good, we'll bring the elbows, let me see, we'll bring the elbows. We'll fold forward over the legs. So bring your hands, how do they actually do this, I think? It's hands to waist, fold forward, and then palms come down. Good, palms flat. Lift the head up, look forward. That means maybe move your hips between your ankles. Keeping the hips still, keeping the legs strong. Notice that you see my legs go from like chilling to active. All right, keep the active leg. Walk your hands back. And the egg, legs are actively pushing your hips towards the top of your mat and helping you hinge at the waist so your head goes lower. We're here for two. Wide leg forward fold, prostrate to the top of A is the pose. Three. We're pushing the ground down and the feet down. Four. And we're starting to feel some relief in the backs of the legs from those standing poses. Last breath. Good. Inhale, walk the hands forward. Take hold of your waist. Inhale, come to standing up, and exhale. Now, at this point in the practice, you flipped upside down. Your legs are getting a stretch, which is counter from that blood rushing like standing. So try and keep your focus here. Try and keep your breath steady. You might get a little dizzy, right? Inhale, reach the arms wide. Exhale, take hold of your waist. Now, lengthening from your tailbone, the pelvis, to your chin and your the back of your head. Squeeze the elbows together. Get long in your chest, long in the navel. Keep this upper body length and then fold forward over your legs. Right about here, you might feel something start talking to you. Slow down. Don't fight it. Don't rush. Stop if you need to, right? Be obedient. Fold over your legs, bring the head back, and squeeze elbows together for one. Obedient by listening to yourself. Two, the question is are you being obedient or are you being more powerful than normal? Three, probably both. Last breath. I mean, last two breaths. Four. And five, inhale, come to standing all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, arms reach wide. Now this is right in the practice where it's nice to get trippy. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Palms together. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold over your legs, fingers come forward, head is down. We're here for one. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale, come to standing all the way up. Exhale, last one, arms reach wide, stick with me. Take hold of your ankles, maybe your toes. Inhale, lift the head up, prostrate the pot of the D, fold. The fourth variation of this pose. We'll pull the head down, reach the top of the head towards the mat for one. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, take hold of your waist. Then inhale, come standing all the way up. We go back to the top of the mat, turning towards the top. Both feet meet at the top in our mountain pose, palms together. Let's take a deep breath, breath in and a deep breath out. Good, we're gonna bring our hands behind the back. You can take your elbows if you'd like, or you can work on your reverse prayer. That's gonna be trying to find fingertips towards each other, then eventually the knuckles and the palms of the hands will come together. But you'll notice that this shape that I have with my hands and my back, which is surprisingly open today, right, for the record, is gonna keep the same shape of my shoulders if I grab my elbow. Right? It might even be a little deeper for me in that, in that instance. So it would be, as we go into this pose and the subsequent balancing poses that will come with it, so I switch it up a little bit, um, try and focus on keeping your chest open, your shoulders open, and your breath filling up this space, right? consistently keeping the lungs full. Let's step the right foot back and turn to face the back of the mat. So we're facing the back of the mat, both feet are square forward, a point forward, right foot's on the right side and left is on the left. Let's pull our navel in and look up, but we're going to pyramid pose. So we're going to fold forward over our right leg. Try to keep as much pressure on the left foot to keep the right foot as active as possible. We're here for four. Right hip inside of your left, right ankle, excuse me. Three. Two. 
And one, the inhale cup is standing all the way up, chest is open. We'll turn back and then turn to face the front. Let's lift the chest, I mean lift the chest, lift the gaze up. And then exhale, fold over your left leg. We're here for one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, we'll come up. Come back to standing at the top, palms together at the center of the chest. Now, Ashtanga does not change, but unfortunately, my mind seems to. So I'm pretty sure that the next pose is the correct one. If it's not, I'll come back and apologize later. But the next pose should be Ardha Bada Padma Padmottanasana, or Half Bound Lotus Forward Fold. Um, and we're going to do figure four today instead of the half bound lotus just because it's really difficult. Uh, your full half bound lotus is going to be bringing your right heel up to your left hip and then bringing the hands around and folding, right? If you have that in your practice, go ahead and, and, and practice. This is going to open your hip that I'm going to offer you. It's not quite tree pose, which I think is an, another lower version, but we're going to do campers pose. So lift the right knee up, bring your right ankle right above your knee. Right? And kind of mimicking that hip opening, excuse me for wobbling, I'm look at one spot in my balance. This will help me find balance by looking my eyes at one space, connecting my breath with the consistency of that stair, right? In your four, figure four position, that's what this is. You can stay and maybe push your right knee back. Sorry, my stomach is also long. Or you can start to sit. So bring hand to ankle, hand to knee. Maybe you work on not wobbling as much, but if you do wobble, good. That means you're doing an actual practice, right? You're doing something that's not so easy. So use your breath in the next four breaths to just find balance on one leg. We're here for one, two. If you wobble, that's good. Start over, good. Three, four. And five, we're gonna come up the same way we went in, standing up straight, lift the knee and place the foot down. Good, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left knee lifts, we'll bring left ankle to the knee. If you like tree pose or half lotus instead, you can take it, take about six breaths, hand can come to ankle and knee, just settling the hip towards the mat. Nice hip opening. And it's interesting, as much as you can do those deeper poses, You'll always find some type of relief in the same area, maybe not as specific, in the lesser poses, quote unquote, or the easier poses. Two more breaths. So never shirk on doing your triangles. Never shirk on doing your figure four or forward fold, right? Those always have a variation that's a little bit higher from standing all the way up. But that higher variation can be harder to control and less effective if you really need that area to be open. Hand holding foot pose. We're going to do one leg hand holding knee pose. So lift the right knee up. Take hold of your right knee. If you feel really confident here, you can wrap right ankle or go for the full posture, going for toes, maybe extending the leg forward, right? Otherwise, you're just standing tall with one leg. We're here for three. Trying to breathe in and feel the balance that comes with breath. Good, two. Meaning you're looking at one spot, standing tall, you can really relax everything and just let your body stand up. One more breath. So let's bring that right knee out to the right. Standing tall, we're here for one. Notice I have my uh, inactive foot still active, so it's not just kind of being swung around. Two, three, ah, and if you fall, it's okay, come back. Last breath. Good, we'll bring the leg back to center. Last time, hands together at the center of the, uh, I mean, hands together at the waist. Lift your right knee high, point your toe, lift the leg. Give me the best you got, we're here for one. Come on, come on, right hand above the leg, lift the leg, two. Uh-huh, uh-huh, three, point your toes, four, and five. Good, let the leg go. Ooh. Do a little dance break on your mat, move around. Move to your left, move to your right. Down, down, down. All right, great. So, hands to your hip, right hand to right hip. Stand up tall. Okay, the thing about balance is trying to maintain, not trying to add anything new. You just want to keep this same balance that you have with both feet on the ground, right? So as you lean to your right, notice if anything changes. Stop, maybe readjust, and then lift the left knee up. Doing your best to keep the rest of your body outside of your left leg exactly the same. So if I'm standing here, boom, 
It's not much for me to move my leg back. All right, you have three more breaths to express yourself in this standing balance. Let's take four, because I was rapping. We're here for one. Full pose would be taking toe, two, three, feeling that connection between toes. Four, every space between the toes is, is active, last breath. Five, left leg or left knee will go out to the left. We're here for one. We keep hand on the waist to remind ourselves to stand tall. Two, and look, same shape as if you grab your knee. Right, three, squeeze the navel in, core strong. Four, there we go, we're really gonna strengthen it here. Five, come back to the middle. Hands to waist, you got it. I know it's kicking your ass. It's cool. It's supposed to. Lift the left foot up. One. I promise I'll give you a break. You got it. Two. Uh-huh. Lift, 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 lift. Three. Four. And five. Here's your break. Cha-cha. Enjoy. Let it go. Move to your left. Move to the right. Let's get the last few poses that we have in this sequence before I let you rest for real. Palms together at the center of the chest. Good. We're going to go through our chair and our warrior one and warrior two, and we're done. Inhale, arms reach up, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs, breathe out. You should feel your legs a little, little bit more activated here, right? Try and keep them alive as we finish. you got 10 minutes left. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, step or hop back, half push up. Inhale, come up, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Hop both feet forward between your hands. Both legs come together. Sit, lift down. Reach your arms up to stack right over your hip. One, chair pose, Utkatasana. Two, big breath. Three, four, try and relax the arms. Keep them stacked, last breath. Five, we'll place the palms down. You can hop up and back. Upward facing dog, breathe in, come up. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Almost there, last couple poses. Left heel drops down, step the right foot forward. Inhale, stand up tall, reach up, look up. One, warrior one. Two, eyes on your palm. Three, four, Five, keep your eyes on your hands, straighten through your right leg, turn the right toes in, turn your left toes towards the back of your mat, yeah, you might wobble, that's okay. Bend into left knee for one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to open up, left hand forward, right hand back. Eyes on the left middle finger, almost there. For one, warrior two. Two. Three. Four. And five, I'm gonna straighten through left leg. Turn the left toes in. Right toes turn forward. Bend into the right knee, warrior two. Eyes on the right middle finger for one. Two, three, sink, 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 sink. Four, lift your right toes off of the mat. Last breath. Fine, let it go. Step the right foot back. Vinyasa, good work today. Breath out. Breath comes in, upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Look forward between your hands. Bring your feet forward. Take a seat. So we're gonna take a really light closing today. We didn't do as much standing. Um, but first, we'll take a nice forward fold. Both legs come out in front of us. Legs can be straight or you can bend your knees if you want to, right? Let's bring hands to ankles, maybe to toes. Inhale and lift the head up. 10 breaths. You can fold over your leg as far as you can go. Let your eyes rest and try to go about 80%, all right? Let that other 20% come over our 10 breaths. We're here for one. Two, trying to come back to that central base in your body. Three, the space you feel most comfortable in the body. Four, 
Maybe it's your lower back, or maybe it's some area that isn't really focused on right now, bottom of the feet, the hand, just somewhere where it feels comfortable in your body, right? Try and draw energy from that space to relax, right? Feel your breath come in. In any place that doesn't feel like that area, you have five more breaths. Try and visualize that space relaxing, being as neutral as the space that you might be thinking about. Here for four more breaths. Whatever you're feeling that's tight, maybe in your lower back, maybe in your upper back. Notice if you could change something to better mimic that easy space you feel here for three more breaths. Eyes looking at one spot so you can feel more than you see. Good. Two more breaths. Learning how to look inside of the body with the eyes. Focus outside of the body. Last breath. Good. Inhale, lift the head up. And exhale, release. One thing you'll find with yoga is that sometimes it's just being in the shape outside of doing the pose the best you can that, that you need, right? Sometimes if you're low, you don't have to do a super back bend. Just lift your chest. Get a small version of that shape, and you'll feel better for it. Come to laying down flat on your back. Got to get your guys out of here. Bring your heels in. Hands can come to your heels. Let's bring palms flat. We'll lift the hips up and counter stretch. Counter stretch in our bridge pose. Hands can come together underneath you. Maybe you interlace the fingers for bridge, squeezing the elbows in and lifting the hips up. Shoulders and back of the head, of course, will stay on the mat. If you like, you have about five more breaths here, whichever you like, bridge or wheel with your hands coming down by your ears. Stacking the elbows over the wrist. Maybe lift up so that the top of the head touches with the hands and feet. Maybe lift all the way up. Wherever you are, you're back bending for the next three. This will be four. Three, two, and one. Let's come all the way down. Bring knees into your chest. And the last pose that I'll leave you with before our Shavasana will be a twist. Normally, our closing would involve shoulder stand, head stand, um, of course, the forward folds and the back bit. But feel free to take those on your own, looking over your left shoulder. We'll take this twist for five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's come back to the center. Knees together at the center of the chest. And we'll go to the other side. Look over left shoulder, and we're here together for one, two, three, four. And five. Inhale, we'll come back to the middle. Bring knees to your chest. Give yourself one big hug. And extend the feet down to the ends of your mat. I try to line them up with the corners of the mat. Feet come off the side. Your toes come off the side. Palms face up, back of the head and the shoulders. Feel heavy on the mat. And as you get in this position, let the eyes stay open and the mouth. Stay open, and I'll talk you through your philosophy. With the eyes and the mouth open, breathe in through your nose, and start to breathe out of the mouth. Deep breath in through your nose. Full breath out of the mouth. Starting to take control of the body like you did earlier in practice, but with more breath control, more breath focus. So as you breathe in, let the lungs fill up. And as you breathe out, force the lungs to be empty by breathing through an open mouth, nice full breath out. Eventually, as the eyes close, you can go back to breathing normally and try listening to the sounds around you as you settle into the mat.
just noticing when your breath gets caught up in that sound or when you feel distracted from your breath. Thank you for practicing with me today. Thank you for taking your time out for yourself today. Thank you for your patience with our technical difficulties. And thank you for sharing your light with the people around you, with those that are loved by you and those that don't even know that they're benefiting from your shining, right? I thank you. And I offer you and encourage you to offer to those who love you namaste. So please take this rest as long as you need. Share this video with someone that you think may need it. Um, and continue to spread the love with us. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I will see you all soon. Peace.